All right, if you're a fan of the Tereva Jakari Puko 110 like I am, but maybe not so much a fan of the sheath, or you need something different than a leather sheath, I may have something you'd want to see, and that is this. This is a synthetic sheath made of a material called Bolteron, made specifically for the 110. And yeah, if you're interested, I'll give you a few details on it. All right, quickly, I want to thank Verustalika for sending me this sheath so that I could share it with you. And really, there's not going to be a whole lot that I can share with you in terms of, of specifications that I like. I'll put them in the video description below. But I just wanted to share it, how it works, who it might be for, and my experiences with it. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just focus down on the sheath itself while I talk about it, show you how it works with the knife. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep it short. All right, so once again, this is the sheath. Now, the material is not Kydex. It's important to make the dis distinction here. This sheath material here is called Bolteron, and Bolteron is similar to Kydex in the sense that it is uh, thermoplastic. In other words, it can be formed by uh, heat. The difference being is, is that this is a higher quality of material that is more resistant to heat and cold. Now, I know most people are fine with Kydex. Uh, most of the time, I'd be fine with Kydex. So that speaks to who this sheath is actually for. If you're in a position where you want the material that is the strongest and the best in the extreme cold or extreme heat for your uh, Jakari Puko 110 or the 140, they do make this for the 140, then you may want to look at this sheath. Now, the only thing is, is because of its higher quality material, Bolteron is a bit more expensive, and uh, I don't know what a comparable Kydex sheath would be may, uh, cost, but this runs about $50. I'll put the information, of course, in the video description below. So who is it for primarily? I think military would be the primary application for this. You can see this is in a military green color. It is also available in black, so you can have your choice of either. It can be set up, as I have it, with a tech lock, and it you know rides actually kind of nice on my belt with a tech lock like like that. It'll work left or right. It's not uh, fussy which way you set it up. And it does have slots so that you can attach it with Molly to any number of packs or shoulder rigs or uh, combat harness or something like that if that's the way you want to carry it. Yeah, so let me just remove the knife from my leather sheath. Now, personally, I like to carry this as opposed to something like the other one, but I'll explain why in a minute. But I just wanted to show you how these two work together. So it is slides in just like Kydex. It goes in with a firm retention and this is not coming out no matter what you do. I'm sure if you jumped out of an airplane and parachuted it down or repelled down the side of a cliff or took a tumble down the side of a cliff, it's not going to come out of this sheath. Super, super secure, yet still very accessible. It takes a bit of pressure to launch it out, but once you do, it comes out clean enough. It does have a little tiny drain hole you would expect from this style. Yeah, like I said, not a whole lot uh, to show you on this. Now, I just mentioned a minute ago that I prefer the leather sheath, and there's only reason why I prefer the leather sheath. It's because of the dangler, to be quite honest. This allows me to carry it lower on my belt, which is below the hip belt of my pack, and just makes it easier for me to access. But I know that's not everybody's thing, so it's nice to have an alternative like this sheath for this knife. So, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So, if you are looking for an alternative to the leather sheath for your Tereva Jakari Puko 110 or 140, and uh, you're not looking to have someone make you up one in Kydex, or maybe you need something that's just a little bit tougher, a little bit more durable, then the Bolteron sheep from Verustalika may be what you're interested in. So I'll put the links to where you can take a look at this in the video description below and what specifications I have for it there as well. If you have any comments or questions, then uh, put them in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that pathless travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.